Hey everyone, it's Even Bigger Jono. Welcome back to more Pokemon Emerald. Last time we got here to Rustboro City after taking out, after making our way through Route 104 and Petalburg Woods. Um, in this episode, we're gonna get a fair amount done here in Petalburg City. First thing you're gonna want to do is head into this house here instead of Pokemon Center. Talk to this guy here, and he'll give you HMO, HMO1 Cut, which is a HM that you're gonna need to get through certain places in this game. Very, very handy HM to have. Um, I'll probably just go ahead and catch a slave, a slave Pokemon to get through all the cutting areas uh, in the entire game. We can't use this HM until we've got the first badge though, which is ironically uh, located in the first city, which is, or oh, in the first, it's ironically located where we get the first badge, sorry. I uh, believe, oh, there's another item just outside down here. So we can run around and get hits. How the hell did I miss this earlier though? Uh, and it is an X defense So, yeah, there are actually a fair few items. For only the third town in the game, not included, not including the first town, that, well, not including our hometown, there are actually a fair amount of items that you can get here. Um, if you come into this house here, though, I believe we talk to... Uh, I could be wrong. Okay, I'm apparently wrong. Um, oh wait, no. That's a southeast house. I need the southwest house. Uh, that's down here, okay. I believe there's a boy in here who gives you a premier ball. And I think he's just on this level up here. Might be this kid here. Yep, I was right, okay. So we've got the premier ball from this kid here. Uh, there are other ways you can get a premier ball. Uh, the way you do that is by buying, um, 10 Pokeballs at a time in a Pokemon, you'll get one Premier Ball for free with it. So you don't, even have to, you don't even have to pay for it at all. Uh, let's see. Uh... Oh wait, we're already here, weren't we? Her. Uh... Okay, um... Let's find the Pokemon Trainer School, which is right here. And if you go inside and talk to the teacher, which is obviously the person in the front of the room... Like, what? How the hell? How dare you just walk away from me like that? Students who don't study get a little taste of my quick claw. Whether or not you have you, you are a good student will be evident from the way you use this item. All right. So basically, what a quick claw does is you have a chance of going first in battle. It won't always happen. I think it's a 50/50 chance of you actually going first in a battle if if your Pokemon of the Pokemon that you're versing happens to outspeed you. So yeah, actually, I think um. I believe there actually might be someone in here who actually gives you items. Oh, uh, yeah, these kids here just talk about how they're just, you know, trading Pokemon and how you can actually do that in this game. Uh, okay, apparently I was wrong. There isn't anyone who, in here who gives you items. But anyway, I believe there are people around here somewhere. There are two people who give you either a uh, an X attack or a Chesto Berry. I just don't quite remember where they are. But anyway... In here, though, this right. <laughs> I was just about to go on about what this place is, but anyway, don't take us gym trainers lightly. I'll show you why we're better. Obviously, you can take it by what he just said that this is a gym. Uh, basically, what a Pokemon gym is is where a bunch of trainers are, and you at the end of the gym is a gym leader. You defeat the gym leader to obtain a gym badge. You need eight gym badges to get to the Pokemon League, defeat the Elite Four, and then the champion to beat the game. That's not a 100% completion, though. Essentially, a 100% completion would be a, a completed the Pokédex, but that is very hard. So realistically, a lot of people consider 100% completion as defeating the Elite Four and the Battle Frontier. The Battle Frontier we'll get into a lot later, though. Anyway, that right there was a Jadu. Jadu is a terrible Pokémon when it comes to special defense, and because it's Rock Ground type, it has a Time Soul weakness to Grass and Water type attacks. So realistically, if you actually have uh, a grass or a water type Pokemon, you'll easily flog this gym. Alright, right here, this is something new that Pokemon Emerald introduced. Uh, getting seen by two trainers at once will actually get you into a Pokemon battle, uh, into a double battle, I guess. Uh, this can't happen if, if you're seen by three trainers at once, though. 
but it does happen if you get seen by two trainers at once. They have two Pokemon each, and they are both starting out with J Dude. Oh, okay. Um, are you serious? All right, whatever. Let's just go with Bullet Seed, and Ember is really the only attack I can use right now, so I'll just go with that. Though their special defense isn't that good, though, and even though it's not very effective, they still take a fair amount of damage from it. So, wow, you just yell. Yeah. Realistically, I probably just beat that thing with like something with the power of 15. That's really sad. They should they should really be in bat. And I really don't think having a full team of Jadus is gonna do you any good. I, oh god, what the hell is this game even doing? Like, what were the programmers thinking? I mean, really, come on. Like, jeez. Oh, we got a critical hit! Yay! Things are going our way. Now die, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> yourself. It's like a dying elephant. All right, Shroomish is level twelve. I should probably look up, take a look at Shroomish's nature after this because it's attacks that just did not go up at all, and I'm kind of scared. Oh yeah, Mud Sport. Yeah, like I was gonna take you guys on with an Electric type Pokemon. Yeah, right. All right. Oh wait. Oh go. Pull see the one. What? Yeah, that's the thing in Dollar Battles. You can actually attack your own Pokemon or your ally if you happen to be in a double battle with someone else. But that doesn't happen very often, though. So, But yeah, you can actually attack yourself, which is kind of insane. Like, as if you'd attack yourself. Actually, there are a fair few strategies in the Pokemon games that actually help a lot if you do attack yourself. Uh, for example, if Flareon has the ability of... Uh, uh, flash fire, it actually boosts its fire type attack, so, or the power of a fire type attack, so, at least, so. Alright, Torchix level 13, not bad. And there we go, Hike Mark's been defeated. And that youngster kid, I didn't see his name though. Alright, sweet, so we beat all the- Are you kidding me? I gotta make my way around you? Ah. Oh. Alright, so, right here is Gym Leader Roxanne. Let's go ahead and save it though, because it'll be really embarrassing if I somehow lose this. Actually, I don't think I've ever lost a battle to the first gym leader in the game. Like, in any Pokemon game, that is. Anyway, whatever. Hello, I am Roxanne, the Rustboro Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a gym leader so that I might apply what I learned at the Pokemon Trainer School in battle. Would you kind of demonstrate how, how you're battling with which Pokemon? How I battle with which Pokemon? Well, against you, it's definitely going to be a grass or a water type Pokemon. Yeah! Alright, so she has she has three Pokemon. She's starting here with J Dude. Really no threat to us at all. We've seen J yeah. We seen J Dude in the previous fight. And we saw how well they get the stand up against grass type attacks, so yeah, it's not gonna last very long against us, is it? Haha, <laughs> alright. Technically one third of this battle's already gone. Hooray for us, alright. God, Shroomish is gonna be like way higher level than Torchic at the end of this fight. Alright, two J- okay, two J dudes. Whatever. God, actually, I should probably bring up, uh, what Roxanne's Pokemon are. That's kind of embarrassing, actually. Uh, let's see here. It's got to bring up her stats. Pokemon Emerald. Here we go. Her first J dude has the attacks Tackle, Defense Girl, Rock Throw, and Rock Tomb, which is the same as this J dude are battling right now. So there really is no difference. And... This one only took two. The other one took three. Oh wait, I know I leveled up. Never mind. Never mind. I'm insane. Okay. Oh god, so close to level 14. Last up here is Nose Pass, her strongest Pokemon. This thing's a pure rock type, so it's not rock ground like uh J Dude is. Uh this thing's holding an orange berry though, so if it gets below th one third of its HP, it will restore 10 HP. This thing knows the moves block, harden, tackle, and rock to him. Uh realistically you can you should only be frightened of Rock Tomb on this thing. Rock Tomb is a very frightening attack and oh no, I can't escape now. That's what Block does, yeah, like I really wanted to escape from you, right. What the heck? That's doing nothing! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. And it's super effective too. Um leap seed. Just in case it takes my Shroomish out, I really don't want uh, Torchic to lose to this thing because at least with Leech Sheet I'll be doing some form of damage each turn, even if I 
miss, or if I don't seem to do enough damage, I'll still be getting health back, though. Uh, let's keep going with Bullet Seed, I guess. I don't really know why it's not using Rock Tomb, though, because look at the same type of attack bonus for that. That's kind of weird. Why can't you hit more than twice? It, great, yeah, it's using its Orange Berry now. Great, okay. Not good. God, like I said though, it's not a hard fight, but her nose pass is just very annoying to take out. Just because it can actually stand up to attacks better than J Dude can. Come on. Hit five times. I'm sick of you hitting twice! God, my luck is terrible. Damn, alright, well at least I know she'll probably be dead at the end of the next turn though, so at least we'll be finished with this. Oh! Oh come on, Roxanne! All you're doing is just delaying the inevitable. You know you're going to die, you're just wasting time now. Oh wow, I hit more than twice. It was only one more than twice though, and he hit three times. Ugh. Why? Please, just die. I don't think she has any more potions though, which... You gotta be kidding me! She has two potions?! Ugh. Why can't you just die? Just accept your fate, Roxanne, and just kill yourself. I don't believe this. I, oh yeah, wow, now she gets a critical hit on me. Yeah, why can't I get a critical hit? Where's my critical hit? I want a critical hit. Well, whatever, you're dead now. Thank God. Stupid bitch. Screw you. Thank you for dying. Jeez. Alright, 346 experience points. Thanks, Shroom, to level 14. Oh, nearly level 15 as well. So, I lost. It seems that I still have much more to learn. I understand. The Pokemon League's rules say the trainers have been given to this after they defeated Gym Badge. After they defeated Gym Leader, sorry, God. A lot of she's like, oh, I still got a lot more to learn. You just lost to a rookie trainer, man. Embarrassing. The stone badge heightens the attack power of your Pokemon. It also enables them to use the HM move cut outside of battle. Please take this with you as well. Okay, so we get HM... HM... TM39, which is Rock Tomb. Uh, I probably won't be teaching this to any of my Pokemon just yet, though, but I do have what I'm going to be teaching it to in mind. Yes, who will it be? You just don't know. I'm really bad at cliffhangers. Alright, so we are done... Get out, get out of the way. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Wait, please, don't take my goods. Sorry, don't take my goods! I'm just gonna, like, shout everything that's really unnecessary to have in a sentence in this game. Um, okay, so I guess we've pretty much done everything we can do here, for now at least, in Rossboro City. Actually. Yes, uh, just for now. For now, we've already done what we can do. So next time in Pokemon Emerald, uh, we'll see what's going on with those two guys. The Devon's Researcher and the Team Aqua Grunt, alright? See you guys then.